everyone, it's Missy. I don't know what's going on with the chickens when I turn on the camera, but they must have known I turned it on to act like that. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to give you an update on the coop. Um, I got it all set up, and as you can see, I just leave the birds out all day in our garden. And this is a 75 by 25 foot garden, so they have plenty of square footage uh, for the four of them to roam around. Um, have plenty of space, but they all like to keep together in a tight flock. And I just put down some straw in the bottom of their coop. It's sitting on the dirt. Otherwise, I do have some stones that I placed around so that way if an animal did get into the garden, it wouldn't, they couldn't dig and get in and under, except I don't have enough for the front. And I'm actually planning on modifying this as soon as I can get to the um, Menards or Home Depot or something. I actually have to travel quite a ways to get to a home supply store. But until then, this seems to be doing the trick. I still got their water that they've used since they were chicks. I got that up on bricks so that way they can drink from there. Uh, there's nothing in the coop that's sturdy enough to hang that. So uh, that's, and it's, they've, the water's been staying fairly clean. I change it, of course, daily and make sure that they have enough, especially with this warmer weather. But I also put asphalt, sh I cut up an old asphalt shingle and I glued the asphalt in between the runs because the ladder was way too steep for these birds to get um, up into the hen house and they can use the asphalt they get a good grip on there and they can walk up and down very easily now they they have really been able to use that more efficiently and the asphalt actually protects the wood uh, a little bit under there from any rain or so forth uh, you could tell that they really stomped down the straw. I actually cleaned their coop. Hi girls. I don't know. I, these these ISA browns, they're very unpredictable. I really wouldn't recommend them as a backyard chicken because some days they're friendly, some days they come up to you and yeah, they start pecking you and then they will fly up in your face and like try to attack you. So. Not exactly sure what's going on there. The Rhode Island Reds are very docile, and I'm just glad that they all four get along. I haven't seen them fight um, or anything like that, which is good. So I don't know what's up with those other two. <laughs> anyway, so um, they, and I, I, I don't know what it's gonna be like when I try to get eggs for them either. So that's like, stay tuned and see how that goes. But um, yeah, the straw's working out great. I still use the wood shavings. I have that big, big, package of wood shavings that I got from our local farm and fleet store so I'm still using them on the inside of the coop and in their hen nesting boxes and I keep their food up on top in their old feeder it's actually stays fairly clean um, I don't see it get tipped over or anything up here that's working out really well and they love their roosting bar each night and when they use it I mean I come out in the morning and they're all four lined up on the roosting bar and it's been working out really well. Um, I use this as a drawer. I've just been pulling it out when I want to dump the wood shavings to put new in. And overall, it's uh, stayed fairly well ventilated with those three holes and the door being open at all times. Of course, they have uh, air movement below the coop if they want to be there. I forgot to mention too that I got these brackets holding the roof to the coop so I don't have to worry about the wind blowing it off either. I don't know if you could see them, it's kind of dark in the picture, but I got two on the back. I put two up on the front. So that way um, it holds the roof down. This roof is all one piece and it would just come off. You can lift it off, but I didn't want the wind to lift it off. so. And I just found those brackets, um, L brackets, at a hardware store. So that was an easy fix. Um, and then I had to fence off our garden somewhat because we started planting our seeds. And I don't want them going in and pecking them and scratching them out. So we got our peas coming up in the back. I don't know if you guys can really see it in the camera because it's pretty small. But they, they are coming up. They got their first leaves on. And then over here we're going to be planting our tomatoes later. It's too cool yet to plant those. We're not even up to Memorial Weekend yet and for my area we could still have frost. <laughs> so our frost free date is usually after Memorial Weekend but we have our beans that we just planted uh, this evening along these fences here. And along this fence here we grow bush uh, peas and bush beans so they don't get that tall so that's why we have a 
shorter fence. We got our sweet corn over here. Nice sweet corn patch, large. It's 12 rows, so got some of them coming up now. Um, I have my current fenced off over here because you can see I do have uh, the berries are coming along. This is my second year I've had that current there. It's really bushed out and it really looks good. And I'm really excited to have current jelly again because when there were currants here for my great grandmother um, and the renters that came between my great grandparents and my parents uh, actually ripped out all those. Um, they thought there were weeds and the berries were poisonous and whatnot. So, but this is guaranteed to be the old style currants that I'm used to, the hardy kind for our area. And they, it's doing well. I didn't mulch it or anything. Uh, the herb garden is going over here this year. The dill, basil, thyme, oregano, sage, and mint. Have a few motorcyclers going by this evening. Moved our compost bin over here. So far all I have in there is dirt and of course the when I cleaned out the coop yesterday evening. That's all the straw and everything in there. And the chickens, they've actually been scratching around here, uh, around the ground and so forth, and actually poking their heads in there. And I found out that they were eating the bugs, they are eating the flies and everything, and so they thought that was a real treat. Now I watered it down and aerated it so the bugs are no longer there. So I'm not really good at composting, and that's something that I'm really trying to work on. Another thing that we had to do was fence off the strawberries, they're in full bloom. They're looking really nice, and as you can see, if I didn't fence them in, that's what my strawberries would look like, right there. Because these guys love, I don't, they're gonna love the berries, but they love eating strawberries. But these are just volunteer ones that I wanted gone anyway, so. All's good, right? Yeah, she keeps eyeing me, I tell ya. <laughs> and then um, over there, on the leaning fence is where we're putting our cucumbers. So they're gonna kind of create a nice little shelter for the chickens. And we plant the nasturtium over there too. So we intermix the two to um, repel what's called, or what I refer to as the cucumber beetle. Uh, we have a lot of those, and we had a lot of those last year in the area, but my nasturtium intermixes with the cucumber vines. And I only had a few beetles and my neighbor uh, they had a pile of cucumber beetles. So I still say that some of the old techniques really do work. And besides the sturgeon flowers, it's really pretty and they attract pollinators too. So it's a weird situation. And then here I have my potatoes. I just planted a long row down this way. Actually all the way down this way. I haven't watered the whole thing yet. And all the way down back to the gate so it just edges the border of my garden and then you see the tomato cages here uh, these are actually going to be for the pepper plants and I put those out which will be in the back we'll have some watermelon and squash going in yet uh, so our my garden's really coming along which I'm very excited about uh, usually we don't start getting that stuff done like I said till after Memorial weekend and we're still a week ahead and these four have really been growing They've really been doing well. Now that I have them out in the garden, they're not eating as much feed, but they look healthy, they're foraging, and they can't wait when I come each morning to open up the coop door. And actually, I'm just getting ready to put these guys away for the night. And I haven't really made too many other modifications to this coop. I found out with just them using it as an area to roost in at night, They've been pretty satisfied with it. And actually, they don't mind not roosting, I found out. They really like to lay, just get down, make their little nests. I'll show you, if I can, what they did last night. Cause I, like I said, I put a new straw, but they got a little nest down here. They got one over here. I think there's one back there. You know, so they like to nest down, those two bigger ones, they really do, which, leads me to question where they're gonna lay their eggs. So, we'll see how that all works. But from what I understand, if one lays an egg in a nest, another one's gonna come along and try to lay an egg in the same spot. So, and as long as they're in this little area here, I could probably find them versus out in the garden here somewhere. So, and that, they're used to the dog now. She can't get at them because of this whole fence that we have in the perimetering our garden here as a perimeter 
but she has tried and they will stick their heads through that fancy grass and the dandelions and other weeds so I'm just lucky that she hasn't actually caught one of their bit one of their heads off literally so we're <laughs> I'm hoping that everything is going to continue to do well I should get you a video to show because honestly when I let my dog out to go outside just for a little bit she runs over here and she'll bark and chase whoa well she'll bark <laughs> it's like called a chicken standoff I don't know Maybe there's something going on last night I don't know about, but anyway, so I should just show you guys what she does because it's so, she's been trying to dig little holes around the edge so now I don't have really grass growing over here, but yeah, I'll show you guys what she does and probably have to do another minute of biz biscuit segment on my next channel, so, and then as you can see, these weeds. I mean, really, it's pretty clean. There's a few of them out there that I see now they're terrorizing. But for them to keep this whole area clean, because I just opened up this fence area over on that long run with the compost just a couple days ago, and it was just filled. I should have shown you how much lamb's quarter and dandelions and everything we had growing here because I wasn't hoeing it or anything, and they've really cleaned it up. I mean, they've really cleaned it up. So I'm very happy with that. Now, as long as I just keep them uh, cleaning up the weeds and not eating the rest of my vegetables, I think this will turn out pretty good. So thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.